Well, jurors were back in the courtroom today for the first time since finding James Holmes guilty. But they went home without making a decision in what's called phase one of sentencing. Last week, jurors found Holmes was legally sane when he opened fire in an Aurora theater three years ago, killing 12 people and injuring 70 others. Cardio News Channel 13's Rena Novini has been following the trial all day. She joins us live in studio with a wrap up and what's next? Yeah, this was phase one of the sentencing period. In that phase, jurors have to decide if there are what's called aggravating factors for the death penalty. It was expected to be a quick process, but it looks like it'll last at least through tomorrow. Prosecutors say there are five factors that make Holmes eligible for death, including killing more than one person and murdering a child under the age of 12. After deliberating, jurors asked to review several videos where Holmes asks about killing a child. They'll be re-watching those videos tomorrow before making a decision. Also in court today, a national news magazine was banned from the courthouse. Newsweek posted a tweet last week revealing the name of the jury foreman. The juror found out about it and confronted the judge without other jurors present. It was just weird to see my name there. That was not cool. And, and as you know, I issued an order, as I informed you at the beginning of the trial, that, that prohibited the media from publishing any of the jurors' names. After that, the judge ruled to ban Newsweek from the courthouse. Tomorrow, jurors will continue deliberating in phase one. If they do move forward, the defense will be allowed to show why Holmes should face life in prison without parole instead of death. The sentencing period is expected to last for about a month. If Holmes is sentenced to death, the appeals process could take years. Reporting live in studio, Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Rana. Well,